The man accused in a Houston area crime spree that left three people dead is back in court. Jose Rodriguez making his first appearance in district court. He faces two capital murder charges in the deaths of Pamela Johnson and Edward Magana. He could still face a third charge in the killing of Ali Barrow. Channel 2's Lee Felici live for us now with the very latest on what happened. Lee? Sion, once a fugitive on the run, now he's facing two capital murder charges. Rodriguez was in court today where he had his rights read to him and he heard the probable cause allegations against him. We have some video from court today. Rodriguez walked into court wearing a bright yellow jumpsuit. Authorities say he was a parolee who went on a crime spree shortly after cutting off his ankle monitor about two weeks ago. He is charged with two counts of capital murder. One of those counts is for the fatal shooting of Pamela Johnson inside her home. The second capital murder count is for the fatal shooting of Edward Magana while he was at work at a mattress one store in North Houston. Rodriguez was arrested last week after leading police on a short chase. He allegedly had a weapon in the car. Both the prosecutor and his defense attorney talked about the case today. It's very early in the investigation. We're working on getting ballistics testing, crime scene testing completed. Um, but when he was arrested, he was arrested with a revolver in the passenger seat next to him. And we believe that that's probably consistent with the murder weapon that was used in the capitals. Well, every time you have a client who's charged with multiple capital murders, um, you know, it's a up uphill battle. We just ask for people to be patient and wait to hear all the facts and not jump to conclusion. And, you know, that's why I've asked really uh, seasoned lawyers to assist me because it is a difficult case. Authorities are still looking into whether Rodriguez is um, a part or connected to a third murder, which happened at a mattress firm store and claimed the life of 28-year-old Ali Barrow. We're live downtown. Lee for Lisi, KPRC, Channel 2 News.